Now then, now then, how's it going? All good, all good. We are back, the I Am Apprentice, we are back. So yeah, we had a bit of a break for a couple of weeks because I went off to Europe and uh, Ryan's been doing his thing, he went over to Bali, so uh, we've had a bit of a gap, but now we're back and um, we got the workmen in again today, so it might be a little bit noisy, so apologies for that, but um, it's more important, the content that we're gonna be giving to you guys, so. Yeah. We're just in the process of preparing for a launch that Ryan's involved in. It's called Enigma. Ryan is going to be going live on the 11th of September, which is Wednesday at 9 a.m. So I've been really busy the past couple of days just preparing everything. I've got my checklist here. So I'll just quickly let you know what I've been doing to prepare, prepare for the launch. So while I was in the UK, I shot the sales video. Okay, as soon as I got back a couple of days ago, I edited that, it took me 12 hours. Um, so that's done. I made the JV page, I made the JV video. Um, I've I put that on Facebook and I tagged all of the main affiliates. Um, I've made the members area, so I've done, done all the training. Ryan's made his case study just now before. We've added that into the members area now. Um, we've got all of the delivery URLs for all of the upsells done. Uh, I've done the VSLs for all of the OTOs as well um, and I spent a long time yesterday sending out recruitment videos to all of my JV friends so pretty much everybody's on board. Um, now I've still got yet to do the Warrior Plus funnel, I need to set everything up inside of Warrior Plus. <coughs> um, but what we're going to do today is I'm going to show Ryan what he needs to do to integrate his list into Warrior Plus because yes. one of the main reasons why we launch a lot is to build up our email list because remember every single person that buys this product they automatically get transferred onto our email list via warrior plus because they bought something from us now this is definitely the best way to build up your email list in, uh, even though it's quite hard in the beginning because you're relying a lot on affiliate support so if you don't have an established name yet in the industry it's kind of difficult but the more that you do it the more consistent you are the more you're going to get your name known and the more support you're going to be getting from affiliates because that's where all of our traffic's coming from. So all the affiliates are going to be sending traffic to our launch, they're going to be sending us sales. Every single person that buys that is going to get split. That Their, their email address is going to get split between myself, Brendan and Ryan. So what we're going to do today is we're going to prepare Ryan to start receiving all of these hundreds or thousands of subscribers and the things that he needs to do to his email list. So um, just before we get into that, how's things? How have yeah. you found everything? You got everything. any results and stuff? Loads of results, so everything's going well. Um, my first video, if, I'm, if I can remember correctly, I made like 172 bucks. Yeah. And that was pretty good. Uh, the second video was like 963 bucks on day one, and day two was like $32 or $38, something like that. Yeah. Came to like over a thousand anyway. Um, my third video was zero <laughs> uh, because I messed up. <laughs> Tell us what <laughs> happened. So what happened was uh, I had made the bonus page. It was probably one of the best bonus pages that I've made so far, you know, on my own. Uh, the one that I was most happy with, if you like. Um, and then because it took me so long to get the, well, the GV doc, I didn't get the GV doc in the end. I just used the GV page uh, and I got that. They, they, they finally sent it over like two days after it launched so i mean it was a it was kind of a waste of time to like hijack the traffic yeah. i was never going to do that the traffic was already dead by the time i even got the gv page you know but yeah. still i got it and i thought you know what i'm just going to make it so at least i'm making content and i'm building up the youtube side of it you know the interaction i've done that and then uh, again it took another day after i got the gv page it took an extra day to get my affiliate link approved yeah. So by the time I'd done it, it was three days already passed, you know, it was dead in the water. Um, but then, I only put the affiliate link on my Gorilla stuff, my commission Gorilla. I didn't put it at the side where yeah, it linked just here, it. Yeah. yeah, just there. Yeah. I, I forgot to put it in there. So he left, he left this part blank. Yes. Which meant that when everybody, when everybody <coughs> clicked on his links on his bonus page, he yes. just went to a blank page. He just went to a blank page. <laughs> And someone had mailed me uh, to actually notify me of that. So thank uh, somebody mailed me on uh, YouTube, commented on YouTube. So thanks very much uh, for like letting me know about that. I really appreciate it. Um, mm. So yeah, that was a complete whitewash. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's all right because you you learn from that experience yeah. now. You, you, and 
when it comes to doing your affiliate link, you're never going to forget to do that again. Okay, mate. never. So yeah, <laughs> good learning experience. <coughs> Shame you didn't make any money from it, but that's just the way yeah, it is. So you, it know, is. So you yeah. win some, you lose some. Yep. Right, so today we're going to get ready to, um, to receive a ton of subscribers. Now, um, Ryan's actually quite fortunate because we're bringing him in on our launch. So he's going to benefit from all of these subscribers, these new subscribers that are coming in. Uh, for those of you that don't have that kind of privilege, I guess, yeah. what you can do is just keep on doing launch jacking. So right now we're kind of fast forwarding Ryan from just doing launch jacking. He's probably been doing launch jacking for a few weeks now. Yeah. Um, when I first got into this, I was, doing, I was doing launch jacking for about eight or nine months before I even launched my own product. So <clears throat> that can be something that you can focus on. Reason being is because launch jacking, you will make some money. Okay, it's not gonna be massive money, but it is gonna be some money, and it's gonna be decent money. And secondly, you're gonna get your name known. People are gonna start to see you, right? You're gonna start to get yourself established. Other affiliates are gonna start to see you. So, and hopefully you'll start getting on people's leaderboards as well. So by the time, you know, six or seven months has passed, then you can think about launching your own product and that's the stage where Ryan's got to yep. right now. We've just kind of fast tracked him past about six months of, of just launch jacking. But at least you know how to do launch jacking now. So, And that's something that you're going to have to do every time you do a promotion anyway, yep. whether you use email or not. So what we're going to do now <coughs> is we're going to prepare Ryan to make what's called a follow-up series. So what's going to happen when we launch, subscribers are going to start coming in. So we need to have, I have four emails that I have ready. They schedule out a, a, day, a day apart from each other and they get sent out to that new subscriber immediately. So as soon as they sign up, they're gonna start receiving the first email. The next day, they're gonna receive the second email and then the next day the third email and so on, right? We need to have these emails prepared because uh, we need to make sure when we start receiving these subscribers, they are going to their emails and they know who we are, right? They know who Ryan is. So when it comes to him actually doing a promotion email in maybe a week's time or something, they're gonna know who he is. They're gonna remember his name and hopefully they're gonna buy stuff from him. So that's what we're gonna get into today. So the first thing that you need to do is go into your get response account. Okay, so you go up to this top bit where it says menu at the top left. Okay. Yep, and you're going to click on auto, uh, actually no, first things first, sorry. You need to go up to the top here and you need to click on lists. Yes, okay. Right, and we're going to create a new list. So <coughs> over here on the top right it says create list. Yep, got it. Okay, we're going to click on there and we're going to call our list Enigma. Enigma, okay. Okay, after the, the product name, right, that okay. we're launching. Uh, so, Enigma, hopefully. That will work, it needs to be all small letters. Oh, I was going to say that, yeah, just say that. Okay. Okay. Oh, this list, this list already exists. Oh, yeah. just put like an underscore, one. yeah, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Right. Um, <coughs> so we've created that list. Next thing you need to do is go to that menu at the top. Yep. Okay, and you're going to click on auto responders. Okay. Now, you won't have an autoresponder made yet, so what you need to do is click on Create Autoresponder. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing as well, because I haven't scheduled my emails yet for this either. Right. Then you come up with a name for it, so I'm just going to call mine Enigma. You can use a capital letter, yeah. I think so, yeah, on this one, yeah. Um, and then where it says on day, mine says 58, we're going to turn that to zero. Okay. And then down here where it says in list, from the drop down menu, you're going to choose the list that you just made. So, Enigma. Enigma okay. well, for you, it's Enigma, Enigma 1. one yep. And then it's <coughs> going to send out immediately and then enable it on all days of the week. Okay. Now, what you need to do now is click down here where it says create new email. Yep. Okay. And you're going to write, <coughs> yeah, just click on there. Now, I've already got emails that I reuse every single time, which is something that you'll be able to do later on. You only have to do this once. Once, okay, that's perfect. So, okay, so this is the first email that I send out. Just wait for it to load up. Okay, so it's called Welcome to Vid Chomper. So I'm just going to edit it and I'm going to change it to Welcome to Enigma. 
Okay. Okay. So welcome to Enigma. Um, okay. And you can you can do the same thing. It's going to ask you for a message name okay. and a subject. Okay. Just put welcome to Enigma is the message name, and then in the subject line. Yep. Okay, over on the right hand side you can see this thing that says personalize. Yep. You just choose first name from there. Okay. Yeah, and that's going to replace that short code with their first name, oh, which yeah. really stands out. Then you just put a comma, and then you're just going to write something like welcome to Enigma. Okay. And then what you can do as well <coughs> is you can go to a website which is called emojipedia.org okay. and this is going to allow you to copy and paste emojis into your subject lines which again helps them to stand out as well right okay yes so ones that i usually find stand out well are the anything fire. that's red yeah, yeah fire stands out well you could probably use the fire one in, in this email right now so just click on copy, copy yeah. yeah and go back in Just put a space between Enigma and the fire. Yeah, there you go. Right, next, you click on next step. And this is going to be where you're going to write the main body of your email. Now, mine's already pre written for me, and what I'll do is I'll send you over a copy of this. Uh, it's probably not a good idea to copy and paste the whole thing because yeah. then it means that both me and you are yeah, going to be same. sending out the exact same, yeah. same email with the exact same, same copy okay. to the exact same person. Yeah. So make it a little bit different. Now what I do in this first email, um, first of all it says thank you for picking up and then I need to change this to Enigma. So thanks for picking up Enigma. You have some life changing learning to do and I'm sure you're eager to get stuck into the training. Before you do that, please allow me to introduce myself. So, I'm just kind of introducing myself, right? Okay. So, my name is John Armstrong. I've been quietly raking in online Dosh since 2007. I've experienced the highs and lows of making full-time living from a laptop lifestyle. And in all my experience, I'll be happy to help you along with your journey. Don't hesitate to drop me a line anytime you get stuck on your advice. Unlike most of the marketers who only want to sell you out, I actually look after my tribe. I send in regular free tutorials showing you <coughs> how, to run, how I run things in my business. To ensure that you receive my free training videos and updates, make sure that you whitelist my email address. Uh, I've made a tutorial showing you how to do that here. So I've actually made a separate page on my website okay. where I've taken like, I think three different videos from YouTube that other people have made, okay. showing those people how to whitelist an email address in Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, you know, all the, all the main like Outlook, okay. all the big email things. So that might be something you want to do. And then you would link it into your email. Now I've done it using this GIF image, um, but that's a little bit technical. We can get into that later on. But if you just have a link that says, uh, click here to white whitelist my email, okay. and then that link would go to a page on your website or like a, a Wix page or something okay. like that. And on that Wix page or that, that, that uh, website page, you just have a few emails, uh, sorry, you have a few videos that you've taken from YouTube. Yep showing people how to whitelist an email address in different um, email providers. So if you just go over to YouTube and you, you just search for how to, to whitelist in Gmail, you see there's, there's, a, ton of, there's yeah. a ton of videos and they're only like three minutes long. So all you would need to do is just say grab this one, grab the share button, and then embed. embed and then you would put that onto your website okay and then you'd have a title that says this is how you do it in gmail and then you do find another one like yahoo again just uh, open it up and then uh, embed it yeah. and then drop that into your into your website and then say this is how you do it in yahoo now it's going back to the email um so I say, as a way of saying thanks for whitelisting me, I'll send you over a copy of my uh, paid training course, which is currently selling for $11.95, which reveals my biggest secret. For details on how to get this, check the video above. Thanks again. Welcome to our <coughs> tribe. Your new best mate, John Armstrong. P.S. 
Be sure to join my Facebook group via the links in the footer and also check out my free training videos in the footer too. Okay. Um, so what I've done here is I have this footer area. So you can do that. Um, you can do that by dragging this over and then positioning it down there. Okay. So you can add, like I've got down here, you've got an image of yourself. Yeah. And then I got uh, join my Facebook group here. This links out to my Facebook group, which I made. Uh, check out my free training here. That links out there. Advanced training here. Uh, video course here. Yeah. So there's multiple links in the footer that builds my business as well, like the Facebook group, uh, my training videos that helps to brand me, stuff like that. Yeah. Now, this isn't something <coughs> you can do right now. It does take a bit of time to set this kind of stuff up, yeah. but you know, eventually, you want to try and have those things in place. Yeah. And again, it's only something you need to do once. You don't need to do this every time. Yeah. So that's why you know it's quite a bit of work in the beginning. Yeah. But once you've got it there, you can just reuse it over and over again, okay. right? So, bit of homework for you. Yeah. If you want to make a Facebook group yeah. for yourself, yeah. and then you can link that into your footer. Like, uh, you know, just a group, it doesn't even have to be a business page, just a normal group. Just a group, okay. yeah. Perfect. So people can join your group. Perfect. Um, <clears throat> Beginners, uh, you can you can do this. I found that this really really helped me. So what I've got here, if I just go and open it up and I can show you what I did. I think I might have shown you it before actually. It's, it's just a static page that I've got on my on my blog, where I've just I've just uploaded little tutorial videos showing people a few things that they can do. Okay. So you know how to get buyer subscribers, how to make a professional sales page, how to automate your campaigns, how to use Bing ads, yeah. stuff like that. They're, these are all like five minute videos, but um, this is something that you can compile over time. Okay. Just whenever you've got a spare like 10 minutes, if you put together some kind of tutorial video, yeah. teaching people something, something. Just, yeah. just one small thing, yeah. they're gonna appreciate you for it. And then underneath here, um, you know, I've got an opt-in form where people can join my email list. Yeah. So. You know, I, I add this page into every single one of my review videos. You know, the first link is my link that goes to the bonus page. Yeah. The second link down there, is, I say, get my free training here. <coughs> and this link leads to here. So I'm actually bringing people in from YouTube every single time I make a review video. Okay. They get the option to come to this page. They get the option to sign up to my email list, which is where I want them to be, right? Okay. So, yeah, those things take time. But So your homework is make a Facebook group. Okay. And then make a make a footer bit for your emails. Okay. So what you do is you, first of all you drag this horizontal ruler across. Hey, why don't I have one? Drop it there. Oh, you need to go to um, okay. Click start from scratch. Okay. And it's just gonna be. I think just go with blank blank template. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. I think it's just that one. <clears throat> yeah, that's it. So, you would just need to add in your text in here, okay. your writing, and this will get rid of that bit there. Okay. And then the bottom of your writing, you need to add this horizontal bar, so you would just drag that over to the bottom of your writing. Okay. And then drag this bit underneath that horizontal that makes bar. The that makes the footer. And then right. you can put your links in there, and oh, you yeah. can. Yeah, but I'll send you, I'm going to send you through all these emails that I'm using. Okay. And then you can model these emails yeah, and then but make them mine. Yeah, make yeah, them yours. Yeah, yeah. yeah, take it and make it mine, basically. Yeah, okay. exactly. And that's really important. Yeah. I mean, because everything that you're doing in your business is, is your brand. You, you are brand your own brand, brand, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of marketers out there. They use, well, especially when they do a promo, they'll use what's called email swipes. Okay. And these are like pre written emails that the vendor's written for affiliates. Yeah. And they just copy and paste them into it. And I've seen this email 20, 30 times from different people. There's that, and then because you know, if they're used to seeing you write your own your own emails, and then suddenly there's this email that kind of looks weird. Yeah. They're gonna think, oh, this isn't Ryan who's yeah. written this. Yeah. They can tell, you know. Yeah. So it's always a good. I always write all of my own emails, all my own promotions, yeah, and people. Do that. Yeah, it, people get used to your kind of writing style. They can tell that it's you. Yeah. You know, they can figure that out. So it's a good idea to do that. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you all of these emails, so you can just go and copy, and um, well, just mix it up and, and make yep. your own version yep. of it. But the basic um, point of doing this first email is just to introduce yourself, 
and get people to white mail, uh, whitelist your email address. Okay. Okay. Now down here, when I say I'll send you over a copy of my paid training course, what you can do is go into Profit Maximizers, yep. and you can say I'll give you this bonus, this, this affiliate marketing course yeah. okay. for free. Eventually, when you make your own training course, that's what you can give to these people because that's yeah. going to brand you even further, right? Yeah. But for the moment, you can just say, I'll give you this affiliate marketing bonus, which is worth, I don't know, $12.95 or whatever it yeah. is, in return for whitelisting. Now, the reason why I get people to whitelist is, especially with using autoresponders, when you send out an email, it might go into somebody's spam folder, you know? Yeah. But if that person has whitelisted you, it's always going to show up in their inbox. Okay. And this is going to help you so much later on because it improves your delivery rate, it, impl it improves your open, open rate. rate yeah. Get response sees that and they give you less of a spam score as well. Okay. So it's really, really important to get people to whitelist you in this first email. So that's the email already done. I'm just going to click on next step. And you'll, you'll do the same once you've written that email. Okay. So this is autoresponder names Enigma. It's going to go out on day zero. Yep. And the Enigma list is going to get sent out immediately. So I'm going to save and publish that. That is all good. Right. The next thing that you do, and you'll probably be able to go through this in the recorded version later on, yep. is from this drop down, <coughs> drop down bit here, okay. you go and choose your Enigma list. Yep. Okay. So choose your Enigma list and click on OK. And then I usually put it into this format here. It's like a it's like a layout, and it shows you the number of days on which these are getting scheduled out. Yep. So this one's going out immediately, and then I want another email to go out on day one. Okay. So you just simply click on this plus button down <coughs> here. Okay, and I'm going to call this about me, and I I pretty much send the exact same sequence out every single time okay. I do a launch. So Probably I have method, yeah. yeah I have the the whitelisting email, I have an about me email, and then I have a ask me anything email, and then I have another couple of kind of crafty emails, and I'll show you that in a second. So this is going to be my second ask email. Ask me anything and I'll ask Jono. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll ask Jono and I'll let you know. <laughs> All right, so this one's called about me in the list, Enigma. Yeah, where are you? Enigma. Uh, I'm going to go and choose the email because obviously all these are pre written, so it's, it's easy after you've done it the first time. Yep. Um, <coughs> so it's this one about me. I'm just going to choose the email, check that this is all going to the right place, save and publish. Okay, and then we got uh, this, the next day. Yep. Uh, d d d okay. This is another cool email that I send out. It's called Free Software. Okay. And what I do here, okay, so let me just go to Enigma. What I do here, <coughs> free tool. Let's let it load up and I'll show you. So edit message. Right, so what I do here is, um, I'll just read it to you, so uh, I'm in a super good mood today so I've decided to give something away for free. This is a tool that Brennan and I created for ourselves back, to, back in October 2018. We spent over six grand getting it developed, but boy was it worth it. Before I started using this tool I was making between $500 and $800 per day. As soon as I started using this software I quickly started making a minimum of $1,000 consistently every day. If you can even make 10% of that, which is too easy, you can easily make $100 a day. Yeah. Click on the below video for more details. So this goes to a video. If I can, I'll see if I can find that video. <clears throat> where basically I'm telling people that they can get this free software. Anyway, I'll just explain to you what it is. So if they click on here, it takes them through to um, a YouTube video, basically, where I tell them that they can get my free, get this free software, 
and they can get it by clicking on this clicking on this button. Okay. Now, when they click on this button, it takes them through to um, a page called ManyChat. I don't know if you've heard of ManyChat. Yeah. It's a bit like having an email list, but it's using it's using Facebook Messenger. Okay. So it's like you can broadcast messages out to people directly inside of their Facebook Messenger here. Right. So it's pretty cool. Um, and and I've I've managed to build up my Messenger list to around. I'll have a look. I think it's around 2,000 something now. Um, and that becomes like an additional email list. So when you do a promotion and you don't want to hit your email list, so you've got 2,550 subscribers yeah. and you can broadcast messages out to them. So this this email here... It's called ManyChat, yeah? Yeah, it's called <coughs> ManyChat. It's definitely worth setting up. And do they pay for that just so the guys know that option? Yeah, there's a free option where you can have up to, I think it's 500 subscribers, okay. which is more than enough to get started with. But then yeah. if when you get over 500 subscribers, you have to start paying a monthly fee. Okay. But even then, I think it's only around $20 a month and it's worth it okay. because that's like a second email list, you know? Yep. And I've just built up that second, I've built up that many chat list from this one email where I'm giving these people an ethical bribe in return for them opting into my many chat list. So yep. this is the this is the next email that I send out. Um, so I'm just gonna go next. <clears throat> and that's gonna go out on day two to my Enigma list. So save and publish. <clears throat> Again I'm gonna send you this uh, I'll send you that email can so you can model it. it. Yeah thanks. And then day number three let's see. Uh, I sometimes use this one, it's pretty cool. So it's called How's the Weather? Mm -hmm. And we're going to go to Aurora, uh, sorry, Enigma. Go and choose the message. And this one's a little bit crafty, but it helps to build up my engagement. Okay. Where are you? Yeah, this one right here. So, um, okay, I'm going to edit the message. So what you can do, you know how we went personalized and we put first name? Yeah. Well, if you scroll down, <coughs> you can. there's one that's called um, GeoCity. Okay. And this is going to replace this short code with, their, with the city that they live in based yeah. on their IP address. Right. So what's going to happen is it will say... Um, how is the weather in Orlando? Yeah. Okay. It'll say, Orlando, question mark, how's the weather there? So how's the weather there? And then inside of the body of the email, I also use this short code quite a lot. And it looks really organic. You'd be amazed at how many people reply to this. So I saw that you live in Orlando. What's the weather like there today? I'm planning to visit Orlando sometime really soon. Let me know, thanks. So um, people, you'll find, they love to talk about their hometown. Mm -hmm. And when they see that you know where they came from, they see that their hometown. You're paying attention to them. Yeah, yeah. and it even it <coughs> it drills down even further than Orlando. It, it would go into like um, Huntsville, Tennessee. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, or somewhere I don't know. If it, yeah, <laughs> Springfield, or somewhere in somewhere in in, in Glasgow, probably okay. like a certain area. Govan. Yeah, yeah. It'd say, I see you live in Govan, how's the weather there? <laughs> people think, how oh, the hell does he do that? Yeah. And I get so many people replying to this and that's exactly what I want them to do. Okay. Because again, when people reply to your email, GetResponse sees that yeah. and it lowers your spam, spam score, okay. which is then going to help you with your inboxing, it's going to help <clears> you with your open rates okay. and all the rest of it. So that's, that's the only reason why I do this. And then I usually reply to them and say, oh yeah, we're going to be coming in like two months time or whatever. Okay. And, um, and again, it, it builds up that relationship that you have with your subscriber as well. Yeah. Even if they know, oh, you, I know that you're doing some kind of autoresponder trick here, yeah. you can just reply and say, yeah, you got me, yeah, complete. Yeah, so that's the next email that I do. I'm just going to click on next, and I'll send you a copy of this one as well. So it's going to go out on day three, save and publish. And then the final email that I send out, because... You know, 90% of the time, pe these people have interacted with my emails, either they've replied, they've downloaded the software, or whatever. So my final fourth email, what I do here, is my ask me anything email. And I'm just basically inviting people to ask me any questions that they've got, right? Okay. 
So it's this one right here. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so hi Ryan, it's John O. Just a quick email to let you know that I'm always here for you. Just like King Con is always there for Jane. It's actually, it should be Tarzan and Jane, but That's people it. sometimes yeah. figure that out and they let me know. Uh, if you have any questions that you want to ask me about, I should change that to Enigma. About Enigma or anything else to do with online business. Or if you want to talk about stingrays and humpback whales or moon cows, they're real. Just reply to this email and let's chat. So it's kind of a light-hearted email, just inviting people to ask me any questions. And I get a ton of people replying to this one as well with any questions that they have too, which is good. Because the more you kind of interact with your subscribers, the more you build up that relationship. When it comes to a promo, it's like, okay, Ryan suggested that I pick this up. Yeah, they like you, they trust you, and then they're going to buy from you. So it's worth taking the time out to, to respond to it. So these are the four emails that I have going out, and that's, that's, that's it, that's all I need to do. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into Warrior Plus and I'm gonna set this up, I'm gonna integrate this <coughs> with Enigma. So I just went into products and then we've created this product called Enigma. I'm not gonna spend too much time going into this because it'll be way over your head right now. It's uh, pretty technical stuff. Um, okay, so integration. Okay, so we've got the webinar that's integrated into here. I'm going to integrate. Get response, Jono. Select a list. Enigma. Okay, I'm going to save that. And now I'm going to integrate your autoresponder. So it's going to be get response. And what I'm going to need. Some people were private mailing me also, uh, like just chatting away, but oh, it's just fine, it's great, I love chatting with you guys. Uh, but what I mean is, some people were private mailing me asking me uh, if I could help them like make the videos, and it's not that I wouldn't help you, it's that I, I, I still myself, anytime I'm making like my review videos, I'm actually going back to like call one, call two, call three, call four, call five, and I'm sitting there with like my iPad here, and I've got my laptop here, and I'm actually doing it, pressing pause, doing it, pressing play, doing it, pressing pause, doing that bit, pressing play, doing the next bit. So, it's not that I'm like, I'm not fobbing any of you guys off or binning any of you off or whatever. Uh, the reason why I can't help you is because I don't know how to do it, <laughs> you know? I still probably need to make about another, I would say, five or six uh, bonus things myself before I no longer need to keep watching the YouTube videos. And obviously the fact that I've had like, probably about two weeks off or ten days off didn't really help because I wasn't doing anything related to it, you know? Yeah. But, um, yeah, I would be more than happy to help you, but I can't because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but the videos that are on that YouTube, either Jono's or mine, it's the same videos, call one to call five, they will physically help you because that's, that's exactly what I'm using uh, each time, just in case that helps. Yeah, you'll get, you'll get it soon. I mean, <laughs> it's a lot to take in, but sooner or later it's all going to click and yeah. you'll be like, it'll be second nature. Yeah. Right, I'm going to need you to log in to get response here. Okay. So if you just, uh, just bang in your details. <laughs> right, sorry about all this kerfuffle, guys. I might actually stop the video now because once we got Ryan integrated, I mean, we've already talked about um, making his follow up series, and that was really the point <coughs> of this video today. Yep. So um, I'm going to stop the video now. And then, uh, is there anything else that Ryan needs to do before the launch? Not really. So we're going to come back in a couple of days. After the launch has gone live, we're going to monitor how many new subscribers Ryan's got. Right. We're also going to start uh, preparing Ryan to do a promo. So the next video, we're going to get into email writing and actually scheduling a whole campaign from, from beginning to end yeah. with emails. So. Stay tuned for that one, and uh, thanks for watching this one. We'll see you soon. Take care. Thanks, guys.